a waypoint for you. I still need some more data, Sly. Keep searching. Collecting his grooming. <laughs> Interesting. 
Looks like Salim recently took this cable for a test drive. Okay, Sly, I'm collating all the data, and it appears Salim is on a boat? Greetings. You're Salim al Kapar, aren't you? And who are you? Uh, well, that part's kind of complicated. I'm a thief like you, but I'm kind of new in town. How about you come back to my gang's hideout and I can explain myself? How about you go lick a camel's hump? <laughs> okay. Look, I know you're in trouble. I'm here to help. I can explain everything, but let's go where we can talk safely. Besides, you look hungry. How would you like some food? Food? <laughs> it was foolish of you not to mention that in the first place. Let's go. Back at the hideout, introductions went quickly as Salim stuffed his face. He told us about his problem. Some new player calling herself Miss Decibel had rolled into town and started throwing lots of money around. It didn't take a genius to figure out who the time-traveling lieutenant was here. Salim and the three remaining thieves had decided to pull one last heist before disappearing into retirement, Miss Decibel being the target. Of course, with her technology, she had easily captured his thief brothers, and Salim had been trying to come up with a plan to free them ever since. Bentley uncovered some interesting background information. Miss Decibel had come from a wealthy British family. Her true love was classical music. Unfortunately, her complete lack of musical talent, coupled with an extreme temper, made for a volatile combination. After suffering a freak accident during a tantrum, she was left unable to play music, normally. However, when she discovered she could control people with her hypnotic tones, a new criminal was born. She began using her devious talents to control others, forcing them to commit crimes for her. We told Salim about the paradox, and the whole thing made some strange kind of sense to him. The bad news was that he wasn't completely convinced that we were there to help him. I could see I was going to have to prove myself. Again. <laughs> 